Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Professor Sistrunk, and I want to reach out to my students to give them a heads up on what's going on in the class. That way you'll be in the know. Okay, so three topics I want to talk about tonight. One is the final exam. Two is the midterm exam. And three will be ACLs and how to get prepared for them. But I'm going to hold ACLs to the last thing. I want to talk about the final exam first. I know everybody eager to know what happened with the midterm professor, but let's talk about the final because that's mission critical. I sent your documentation to the testing centers. I'm anticipating next uh, tomorrow, the next day or whatever, everything will be loaded and ready to go. I need you to give them a couple of days and reach out to pick a day when you will go take your test your exam. Now, I open this up a little wider than I normally do. Normally, I just give you a week, but I open it up to two weeks because I know from past experience that the testing centers get crowded. So, come May, uh, no, excuse me, come April the 26th, the test will be open all the way up to May the 8th. So, April the 26th to May the 8th. Now, I know you're going to hit me back and say, Professor, that's a Sunday. We can't do anything. I know it's a Sunday, but for me to make sure it's open and I don't go through this debacle like I did the midterm, I am opening it up wider. And the second reason I'm opening it up wider is because if you miss that test, there's no way you can have an excuse about can you retake it or can you get credit? No, you get a zero and you move forward. Okay, so make sure that you put this down and I'm gonna talk about it again and again and again in our meetings. May, excuse me, April the 26th to May the 8th, that's when you'll have your final exam open. Once again, final exam. Now, how do the final exam work? It's a two-part test. One test is similar to the test that you're already taking similar, meaning you take in exams that have multiple choice questions, that's the test you're gonna take at the testing center. Okay, so you already know that, you're gonna go to the testing center, you're gonna pick your date, you're gonna call them and you're gonna go there and you're gonna take your test and it's gonna be a multiple choice test. Boom, you're done. But the reason I'm opening it up wider again is because I wanna make sure that you can go on, be sitting at home, and take the second part. And the second part is a lab. It's a lab that you have to go into net labs. No, you cannot do it in Packet Tracer. You have to do it in net labs because I have to have documentation in net labs to show that you did it. So you will be going in net labs to do that second part. And you will be sending me, not in the email, uploading into that socket where it says final exam uh, lab or lab, you will be uploading that documentation that you filled out, completed, when you complete that uh, exam in that lab. Now, if you do not, like some been doing, do not upload that documentation, you will receive a zero. And I know you're gonna come back to me, well, professor is up there. No, 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 no. I'm not talking about it's up in NetLabs. I know you're gonna complete it in NetLabs, but I want a copy of that documentation. We need that documentation for verification that you completed that test. If you do not give it to me, you can guarantee you will receive a zero. And when I put post that grade, I don't, dean, vice president, president, they can't come back to me and tell me, you did not do your job, okay? So, let's go back over this again. May, not May, April the 26th to May the 8th, you will have the opportunity to complete your test. Both of them, one at home and one in the testing center. Now, students, I'm gonna get a little bit hard right here. It's gonna get rough. The final exam, I do not give any room to. I already opened it up for a two week period for you to complete. If you do not complete that test or you wait till the last moment and a problem happens, that's on you. There's no conversation. So 
You know that the testing centers do not open up on Sunday. They do not open up on Saturday. And if they do open up on Saturdays, that's on you if you wait till Saturday. But make sure you pick a date. Get that date out the way as, as quick as you possibly can. Pick a date and get listed on a roster. Don't I don't want to hear, oh, professor, they told me that uh, at the very last moment I couldn't do it. When we come back off of spring break, I'm going to ask each student, did you contact the testing center? And what did they tell you about what date you're going to come take that test? Okay? Now, if you don't have an answer that day, the next week it's going to be mandatory for you to email me the date. And if you don't email me that date the next week, I'm through. It's on you because you have made your decision. You're an adult. Treat you as, treat you as an adult. And this is real serious because students wait till the last minute to choose a date and they can't get in there and then they want to run up on the professor and say, hey, professor, can you, can you do something for me? No. Period. The final exam is mission critical. That's why I'm bringing it up now. And every week, you're going to hear me talk about the final exam. Every week. Okay, so that's the final exam. You know you got two tests. One you're going to do at home. One you're going to do in the testing center. Your information's been sent to the testing center. You're going to immediately contact the testing center. And bam, you in. You took your test. I can't believe what you said, bam. Okay, moving right along. Now, let's talk about the midterm. Okay, so just to start off with a basic little story, and I know you really don't want to hear the story, but a student emailed me and asked me, Professor Sistrong, are we going to take this particular test because the test is listed on a different day? And I told the student, don't worry about it. You don't have to worry about that. Some I said to the student, but that student had me thinking. And because I started thinking about it, I'm like, wait a minute. Why did that student say that test? But I, and like most people, just blew it out of my mind, right? Well, when it came to take the test, I checked our syllabi. And on our syllabi for the midterm, that's the test I was supposed or should have been giving. I'm like, oh man, this is the syllabi. But I told you guys another test I was gonna put together and give to you. Well. If you know anything about syllabus, the syllabus is the contract. Once a student take a class and accept the syllabus, that's what we have to follow. Now, I could make changes to the syllabus, but I can't make a change on the dime. What, what I have to give you at the very least seven days to a week to be able to make a change on the syllabus. And I didn't do that, and I didn't want any drama, so I had to go ahead and push that test out. But I take full responsibility for that because I pushed it out haphazardly, or did I say that right word right? I pushed it out uh, uh, really, really quick. And for some reason, some students were able to take the test and some students weren't able to take it. So to fix this whole debacle, don't worry about the midterm right now. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take all the work you completed compile that work up and give you a midterm grade. Now, what this great midterm grade is just basically for the student to know where they're at. It's not an official grade, it don't go anywhere else. It's just for you to go in and see, oh, I got my midterm, this is where I'm at, this is what I gotta improve on, or this is where I'm at, I'm doing great. What we use the midterm for as professors is to say, I need to work more with this student and find out what issues and problems that this student have to have a low grade. So if you're not, if you don't have a low grade, you don't have to worry about it. You pretty much can look in there now and see what grade you have. Once I grade everything up, that grade is going to change dramatically and it's going to go up if you've been getting your work in on time and doing your work. So don't worry about the midterm right now. Now, when we come back, I'm going to take that same midterm grade because what's attached to it is 10%. I'm going to take that same midterm grade and I'm going to open it up. We're going to go over it, see the things we can do and how we can understand it. And plus, it's going to have what I love the best in there, ACLs, and I'm going to talk about that in a minute. But we're going to go over that midterm grade. I mean, that midterm uh, packet tracer. And then I'm going to open it up to everybody to take it. 
for the individuals who have already took it, if you're okay with your score, then we'll leave it like that. But if you want to take it over again to get a higher score, we'll let you take it over again with no problem. I want you to get the best. And when it comes to packet tracers and labs, my philosophy is this. When I hire people in the industry, I am looking for people to know how to do stuff. Even when I'm training people in the industry, I just wanna make sure you understand how to do it. So when we bring people in, we give them 30 days to 90 days, depending on what position they go into, and we train you. We do not leave you out there by yourself. We get you up to par to understand the organization and what we do so you can go ahead and move forward, okay? So don't worry about this midterm grade, this midterm exam. I'm going to put in your grade. You only got two labs to do this week. If you do those labs really quick, they'll be counted in with your midterm grade. We'll get that out the way and we'll move forward. And then when we meet up after spring break, we will simply look at that, work through it together as a team, like teams do in the real world, and then we'll turn it loose to you and allow you to go in there and do it and get that 10%. How about that? Great, I know it is. So that's that. Don't worry. Right now, all you should be thinking about is two things. One, study your ACLs, and two, enjoy this spring break. Take a little break. I'm gonna take a break. I'm about to take a break. I am going to Arizona, and I'm gonna walk up some of the highest mountains in Arizona. So while you on spring break, I'm on spring break. And please, when spring break comes, don't call me. Don't text me. Don't email me. Let me have a break. I need one. Don't you think the professor needs a break? Okay, moving right along. Now, with that being said, ACLs. Okay, today a student emailed me and said, hey, professor, what are we going to do about the midterm? I said, don't worry about it. I'm going to send a video log out today. And then the student emailed me back and said, hey, I'm going to focus on ACLs. Kudos to you. ACLs are extremely important in the industry. When you go into cloud computing, they're going to talk about ACLs. When you work on servers, they're going to talk about ACLs. When you work on routers and switches, they're going to talk about ACLs. These are critically important. They are extremely important. So you have to understand ACLs. Now, if you're going into security, it's a must. Hands down, you need to understand ACL. So please, why you on this break, when you want to just look, look at ACLs. Look at them because you really need to know it. The person who understands ACL always get the job. Always. Also, let me bring this to you. Um, when we come back, that first meeting, when we get back, I am going to have a question for everybody on ACLs. And I'm going to ask you, hey, just a question. Explain that to me. I want to make sure that you do take a deep dive into ACLs. They are important. Even if you got to go look at some you go look at some YouTube videos. If you don't read the chapter, at least go look at some YouTube videos so you can understand what ACLs are. I'm one of them professors. I want to push you into stuff that will help you. If you need YouTube, whatever, go look at it and understand ACLs. Okay. This is Professor Sistrunk. I hope I explained everything to, to you that you don't have to worry, but relax, chill out. Ooh, excuse me. Relax, chill out, and I will see you in the next We got the spring break. Ooh, I'm glad it's spring break coming up. I need a break. Okay, uh, students, Professor Sister Sistrunk signing off. You can tell I'm tired. Professor Sistrunk signing off, and I'll see you after spring break. Do those labs and that packet tracer. It's a lab and a packet tracer this week. Knock those out so I can count that in your midterm grade, and then we'll come back and be ready to go. Remember, the midterm grade is not something critical. It's just for professors to be able to look at students' uh, work and students be able to see where they're at, and we work as a team to get things right. Have a lovely spring break. I'm going to be walking up a mountain. And relax and chill out and get ready to close this class out. Professor Sistrunk, signing off.